morning has broken. Do you know what? I'm absolutely in love with this place. And Norfolk is looking brand new. Lovely roads. It's quite nice and flat. Both myself and Helen enjoy that very much. I've got an exciting day ahead. From when I was a kid, I've loved collecting things. I really have. I collected thimbles, which is, you know, the most exciting high-octane collection you can have. And I love talking to people who also collect things. They're my kind of people. I'm heading to Weybourne and the site of a former anti-aircraft training camp. Top secret, it was staffed by women from the Auxiliary Territorial Service, which a young Princess Elizabeth served in during World War II. Today, the rich history continues in a collection that outshines my thimbles. The Muckleborough Military Collection is the passion of Sir Michael Savory. Michael, it's lovely to meet you. I love nothing more than a collection that's gone out of control. Totally. It's a beautiful thing. Totally. Totally yeah. out of control. The vast array of militaria gathered from around the world includes 22 massive tanks in full working order. Tell me, how did this start, this collection? Well, I collected stamps as a young boy and they weren't as exciting as uh, tanks were. And I had, from a very early age, a boyhood fascination with tanks. And it grew and grew. It's like all hobbies, it never stops. Uh, do you remember your stamp album where you were missing a stamp in a series? Mm -hmm. Exactly the same with tanks. It's one thing collecting tanks, but quite the other getting them to work. Most of them came as wrecks and needed restoration. Did you teach yourself? Yes, although we've collected a huge amount of manuals. Uh, and I've always been practical with my hands. That's still teaching yourself, Michael. That is still using an instruction manual on a tank. I can barely work out how to fill the scoosher for Helen's windscreen. I have always wondered what it'd be like to drive a tank. <laughs> is it possible to get in one and have a go at it? It certainly is. Let's yeah. go and drive Brilliant. a tank. Let's go and drive a tank. And Michael's tank of choice... an ex-British Army armoured personnel carrier. Developed in the 1960s, a small number are still in service today. The important thing is to go forwards, not back. Forwards, not, especially not when Helen's there. Forward, exactly. not backwards. Great. Here goes. A bit of acceleration. That's it. And with a bit of instruction... That's it. OK. Keep going. Right. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm really nervous as well. I'm away. Reminds me of my first drive in Helen. Quite intuitive. And am I going right? Yeah, then we go off right here. OK. What lever was that again? <laughs> it's a 13-ton tank, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Too soon. It's certainly not your average country drive. A bit more acceleration now. Sure. He's brave. Whee! It can reach over 30 miles an hour. But it feels double that. Woo! Oh, my heart is in my mouth. Now, what did Michael say about stopping this thing? Slow down. Well done. Excellent. I did it. It was quite something to try. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Yeah, you did very well. <laughs> if my school careers advisor could see me now. We'll make you a tank driver in the end. Susan Kalman, at your service.